What's up guys, exciting times are here, Samsung has made this official. The upcoming Samsung Galaxy MWC virtual event is happening on June 28th. This is the event where Samsung will revolutionize the whole Android smartwatch game. According to the official information coming from MWC Barcelona, Samsung will reimagine smartwatches, creating new opportunities for both developers and consumers. As we know, Samsung joined hands with Google for their biggest collaboration ever, the brand new smartwatch OS that is made by Samsung and Google combining best of their software, the Android Wear OS and the Tizen OS. So at this MWC 2021 Samsung's virtual presentation, we could see the first ever real life glimpse of this brand new software. We'll be seeing this software for the first time on the Galaxy Watch 4, which also has some groundbreaking features such as a bezel-less design, a lighter form factor, even bigger battery, and a 5 nanometer processor. Now apart from this, Samsung will also do some announcement regarding their Galaxy ecosystem, which includes range of devices. As you can see by this teaser, we have the Fold, we have the Galaxy S21 Ultra, we also have a laptop on the side, a tablet with the S Pen as well. So I think we're going to see a combination of a lot of things announced, but very likely we won't be seeing any major smartphone or tablet announcement. The Galaxy Z Fold series is rumored to be announced on August the 3rd. We're also going to see the Tab S8 Ultra, probably the Watch 4 on that same event. In addition to that, the Samsung XAMD GPU is rumored to be announced in the month of July, so this event will strictly be for that showcase of new software, and of course some insight on security and Galaxy ecosystem. I'm usually not that excited for smartwatches, but I'm really looking forward to the upcoming Galaxy Watch 4, which is why a glimpse of this brand new software is definitely very exciting. Also in the news, we have some release date info regarding the Samsung Galaxy S21 FE. We've heard that Samsung is having some manufacturing issues for the S21 FE, which is why a brand new report says that the S21 FE will come in Q4 2021, which means we could see this phone coming out in October or November. Let's hope for the best. That is actually not a bad timeline because it's actually going to put up a good fight against the upcoming iPhone 13 lineup and of course the upcoming Google Google Pixel 6. Now speaking of iPhone, Apple has finally pulled the plug on its iPhone 12 mini. Yes, Apple has ended the life of iPhone 12 mini. They have stopped the production entirely. According to the report from Trendforce, the iPhone 12 mini has reached its end of the life status thanks to weaker sales. So yeah, as unique the iPhone 12 mini was, it was still not enough for Apple's expectations, which is why they have ended the production. They're still actually selling the iPhone 12 mini's existing stock, uh, which will last for a couple of months, and then it will be completely discontinued and replaced by the iPhone 13 mini. Yes, the iPhone 13 mini is coming out. It's probably going to come out in limited numbers. They're not going to go too hard on production. It is rumored that in 2022, Apple will do a shakeup of its lineup and replace this mini iPhone with the iPhone 14 Max. So that's all the latest news. A big, big shock move from Apple indeed. Samsung's MWC event is official and of course the S21 FE is delayed. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. With that being said, I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.